thought. Not me. What's up? What it do? What's good? What's poppin'? What's going on? Ooh! So I know you clicked on today's video like, what she mean? Is this girl dead serious? I don't like that. I don't like that. And I know you ready to drag me, but like, hear me out. Like, just listen. Listen to what I'm about to tell you, okay? Just like, listen. Don't drag me yet, okay? Just listen to what I'm about to say. I know you probably like, say psych right now. Say psych right now. And psych consists. That movie was horrible. Everybody involved? Everybody involved need to go to jail. Jail. They need to go to jail. <laughs> that movie was so bad. So for this video, I'm not going to have any clips from the horror film Cuties. But I am going to be recreating the dance scene so you can have a better understanding of what they had these little 11 year old girls doing. And I am going to wear an outfit that represents the whole movie of what they had these little 11 year old girls wearing. Okay. 11 year old girls. Before we start today's video, like and subscribe. And that's on Gunpoint. So the movie starts off with the main character, Amy, doing little girl things, you know, making cardboard cutouts of her happy family and like running around playing with her brother Ismail. Then they show us that the main character, Amy, is attending a new school and they're showing us the principal giving her a new schedule, telling her about her teacher and her classes, whatnot, whatnot. And then they pan to a group of girls dressed like a bunch of mini hookers. And those group of girls are called the cuties. What are the cuties? They are a little dance group, just like little hookers. <laughs> she sees them in the hallway pretending to be little statues to piss off the principal before the bell rings, and she likes what she sees. Fast forward, <laughs> turns out her family is not such a happy family after all. <gasps> Who would have thought? Not me. Well, turns out the dad cheated on the mom. Not only that, but the dad has to get married to the side chick. And when the dad gets married to the side chick, the mom has to attend the wedding. Not only that, but once the dad and the side chick are married, they will move in together in the same house. The same house that the original wife is living in. So they all have to live together like nothing happened. You know, like, he da such a wonderful life. Like, it's nothing. So you telling me I'm going to have to get dressed up and go to the wedding and watch you get married to somebody else? No, it's going to be a fight. <laughs> a fight. All of that that I was just telling you was a conversation that the mom was having with her mom, which is the grandma, while Amy was under the bed, sneaking, hiding, whatever. But she was under the bed and she overheard the conversation. She got hurt. She was heartbroken. la di da di da Hearing that made her want to join the cuties for some odd reason. It'll never make sense to me why she wanted to join the cuties after hearing that information. It, it'll make sense. Like, where is the correlation? Where is the correlation? So yeah, Amy throws herself around the dance group, the cuties, and originally they bully her, they make fun of her appearance, they throw her book bag around, they throw her books around, but eventually they become friends. So one night after spending a whole day with the cuties and stuff like that, Amy decides to watch a music video. In the music video, there were grown women twerking, and she was impressed by the grown women, not children, grown women twerking. She became fascinated with big bums and moving bums, so anytime she would see a lady with a big booty she just be like hmm I want that I'm gonna have that I'm gonna get like that trust seeing that Amy decides to have the cuties incorporate those trick moves into their dance routine so it's all Amy's fault they decided to dance like little hookers in the movie all Amy's fault <laughs> For the incorporation of the dance moves this is the kind of thing she teaches them Originally, 
in the cuties there were four dancers two dancers started beefing and then one <laughs> One got booted out by the team captain. So when one got booted out, Amy became a part of the cuties. The way Amy became part of cuties was she danced for the team captain and the team captain was like, okay, <gasps> Amy, go, okay. You know, that's serious. She was gasping, gasping, she was like, off beat. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what she was doing. So when Amy made the team, the group got an audition and Amy missed the audition and only got to watch them perform. But they didn't know she was there. She only got to watch them perform. And she explains to them, blah, 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 I got caught up. I only saw y'all perform. They accused her of lying. They started to get mad at her. They started beefing. They basically cut her off, but they end up walking to the same place together anyways. So for the dance audition that the cuties were in and Amy only got to watch, this was their dance routine. After the little heated argument that the cuties and Amy had, they end up sneaking into this little arcade laser gun thing, but they didn't really know what it was when they were sneaking into it. But then they end up getting caught by security. Security threatened to call police. The team panics because they have a competition. And Amy twerks for the security guards, which are men, by the way. She does that as a way to represent proof that they are actually a dance team and can't afford to get the police called on them because they'll get disqualified from the competition if they get in trouble. Well, lucky them. They end up making it through the audition. They got to the next level of the competition. In a celebration, they decided to make a dance routine, record that dance routine, post that dance routine, and this is what they did. They literally had these little girls dance in crop tops and booty shorts. 11 year old girls dancing in crop tops and booty shorts. Girl, you know how long it took my mom to let me wear a crop top? Ciao. <laughs> no. In another scene, this random girl in a group with her friends throws a soda can next to the cuties. She was aiming for the garbage can, but I guess Amy felt some type of weight because it fell too close to them. So she went up to the girls, started bop, 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 bop. She ended up losing a fight. Amy gets her pants pulled down when she gets her pants pulled down they expose her panties and i don't have a problem with the movie implying that her panties are being shown but it becomes a problem when her panties are being shown and nobody needs to see love your girl butt cheeks <laughs> no thank you next scene amy lashes out again in aggression and decides to steal her mom's credit cards and take her friends on a shopping spree so when they get back from the shopping spree they're running all da -de da all happy and stuff like that and they're throwing up the lingerie that they bought up in the air and i can tell that junk is lingerie like i'm not stupid like we see what they throwing up you know <sighs> the movie just trying to do the most Okay, doing the most. Four scenes later, Amy takes her cousin's phone to check her social media, whatever I'm guessing, and he wants it back. To bribe him, she decides to um, button her clothing to strip for him to let her keep his phone in her possession. And that's a big problem in this movie because it takes it to a whole nother direction. Like, what are you trying to imply? In order to get what you want, you strip for a guy? Like, what? Like, how does she even understand the concept of that? He snatches his phone, she snatches it back, she runs into the bathroom, and for some reason takes a picture of her vagina. Luckily, they didn't show that because, oh my gosh, if they do, oh my gosh. <laughs> So after she takes a picture of that little magical area, whatever, um, she slides the cousin's phone under the door. What was the point of that scene? It could have done without it. Like the movie could have done without it. Next scene, she goes to school in some provocative clothing, I guess. The whole movie, they were in provocative clothing. Amy is walking in her classroom through the aisles and there's a little boy. They have that little boy slap Amy's butt. After he slaps her butt, he says, well, she posted her vajayjay. 
on the internet so it's not like she didn't want me to do it then she stabs him pop, in the hand with a pencil she gets home the mom is upset furious yelling at her like is the devil in you girl is you good is you good the mom decides to perform an exorcism on Amy because she really do believe a demon is inside that girl. Like, what's going on with my child? She didn't act like this before. So for the exorcism, which was also inappropriate, she was also twerking and humping the ground in a thin shirt bound to her chest while they splash water on her. The water representing holy water, but they're splashing water on her in a thin shirt in her panties. This is the kind of thing that they were having her do. In the next scene, Amy meets up with the cuties. They're all mad at her. They cut her off because she posted a picture of a vagina. They didn't want people to think that they were all like that. They didn't want people to think they were provocative. They didn't want people to think that they were all gonna, you know, post things like that. Yeah, so they cut her off. But Amy cheats her way back onto the team by pushing one of the members into a lake where the girl almost drowned. And Amy just watched like the little devil that she is. Ciao. Mm. Okay crazy and then just went to the competition like la da nothing's it's all good so for this dance routine i'm about to show you what they had these little girls doing in crop tops and booty shorts in front of a crowd of people on camera with close-ups of their booty cheeks <laughs> So after that whole shebang, after the whole dance routine is over, Amy comes to realization that she doesn't want to be like that anymore. You know, after the whole routine, they really wanted this little girl to do the whole dance routine, then come to the realization. Not in the middle, not before, not during, after the whole dance routine. Make it make sense. Basically, that's how the movie ends. She's all back to normal. She's going back to her roots, embracing who she is, how she was born. La -di -da. The movie was bad. What's even worse than the movie is the director's interview. It's BS. Like, if you would have just watched the director's interview and not watched the movie, you would have been like, okay, but like doing the most, like they dragging her for no reason. Da -da -da. No, but if you watched the movie, she really did not need to do all that with the close-ups and the camera scenes to prove a point. You can insinuate it, but you don't need to actually show and participate in the P-E-D-O-philia community. Because you literally watch these little girls. <laughs> I bet when these little girls get older, like when they get 18 or whatever, and they get an interview about this movie, they're gonna be talking so bad about that movie. They're gonna be talking about how they were manipulated, embarrassed, stuff like that. They're gonna have really bad interviews about this movie. I see it coming. I'm Raven Simone. I see it coming. Oh wait, no, that's Raven Baxter. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching today's video. Hope you like, please subscribe and comment. Please. Also, please comment down other movies you want me to break down because I will gladly do it. Bye!